Okay guys, here is my second challenge for the evening. I don't particularly want to do this one, but I guess I've got no choice. Uh, what I've got to do is I've got to eat the cucumber whole. I'm going to speed this one up a bit because it's going to take me so long, I think. I might speed it up after the initial disgustingness of the cucumber. I presume you mean like the stalk and all. Okay, there we go. Cucumbers are really good for your skin. They have like this weird bleaching effect. As you see, I'm so weak now. I can barely get the blooming plastic off this thing. Right. So, yeah, this is really fighting me at the moment. There we go, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> Bottoms up, here comes the cucumber. Right, I'll start with this bit because this is going to be horrible. Actually, the stalk don't taste too bad. It's kind of like grass. I'm not a fan of cucumber, by the way. Uh, those of you who've watched the series up to this point, well, uh, that's why I've been asked to do this. I don't know whether or not it's truly good for me. Okay, let's go. This is a lot to eat whole. I don't know why you wanted me to eat a cucumber. Oh well. This is truly repellent. The cucumber in no way is a delicious vegetable. It lurks in the fridge like an angry sailor. Just waiting to mug you. Hiding behind a block of butter. What is wrong with you, cucumber? I've started getting used to the taste of this stuff. But it's still pretty rank. Also, one of the other problems I've noticed is um, the more of this sort of stuff that you eat, the more gas comes out of you. It's horrible. You feel like you're suffocating at light. It's really nasty. You know, I think that vegans are contributing to global warming. But yeah. It's been weird transitioning over to vegetables. I think that's almost half a cucumber gone. It's pretty rank, pretty rank. Why did you set me this task? This is ridiculous. You know, this is a horrible vegetable.
So what have we learned from this video? A balding guy with uh, way too much facial fungus is managing to savagely eat a cucumber. How do you think the cucumber feels? It's probably not happy. Just wanted to live in the fridge doing cucumber things. Still, it's giving me an excellent idea for a movie. I hate these so much that I might I might bring back one of my old characters that I made in the past. I was so young then. You know what? I don't know if I can actually freaking handle this. Maybe you should have picked a smaller cucumber. But then again, I've already started making the video, haven't I? So I guess I can't chicken out now. The skin of the cucumber is sort of almost warty. It's got a nice texture to it, to be honest. You know, I don't really like the insides much. The seedy bit is very, very interesting, I guess, but hmm, I don't know. When I'm eating this, it's kind of as disappointing as the Fallout expansions were. Although I did like Far Harbor, I thought Far Harbor was great. But yeah. If nothing, if nothing else, I could become a really bad vlogger. Now tonight, later on, like much later on, I'm going to try something which my friends um, Sangeeta and Jason both suggested, which is to, um, instead of when I take the avocado off, you know, I just cut it into slices and eat it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try spreading it on this stuff called Rivita. Because um, apparently they're healthy. It's meant to be nice. I'm going to season it as well. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Jason says to me um, that I should make sure that the avocado is um, ripe. I don't think I'll be able to taste the difference. I've, I've always hated the taste. So um, as long as I put enough seasoning on, hopefully I won't taste it. Um, the beautiful thing about all this, though, is... Um, I'm not feeling much more healthy, you know. I feel like I've got a lot less energy. You know, I'm still drinking the Huel, it's disgusting. I feel like I've got a lot less energy now that I'm changing my diet. Apparently this is normal. Apparently it takes a while for the body to reboot. But, I wish it wouldn't take so long because my body's usually really quick at adapting. Um, one thing that um, I am happy with, though, is I'm happy with my physical progress so far. I think I did uh, like 33, 34 push-ups earlier. I can't remember, but I didn't expect that. I was planning to do 30 tomorrow, as it were, in well, the day after tomorrow, because I'm resting tomorrow. But, yeah, that doesn't seem to um, be too hard now, I guess. I mean, it's more than I feel that I can handle, but I kind of liked overdoing it a bit today. I might do a bit more physical stuff before I go to bed just to get myself ready. You know, if my body can handle it. Because I need, I really, really need to be able to do at least 50 of everything, you know. And I know that it's boring watching me flounder around like some gigantic uh, slug trying to do this stuff. But I appreciate you um, watching and being engaged and sticking with me. You know, it does mean a lot. And that's why I'm doing stuff like this. Because you people are supporting my work. I appreciate it.
I'm almost there. That's a lot of cucumber that's gone. Like I said in my first video that I did, I do welcome doing challenges like this. It is horrible, but, you know, I'm getting there. If I can get the materials, I'll try it, you know. It's like, um, you know, I'll find out how... Um, I'll, I'll do some of the other ones which have been um, sent maybe tomorrow. I don't know. It depends on whether or not I feel wrecked or not. Still Friday tomorrow. The worst thing about Friday is it's the, it's the last day of work and I get two days off. But then I've got Monday to look forward to and that, that's always a good one. So, um, yeah. Anyway. Oh, God. Thank you very much for setting me these challenges. Some of the more outrageous ones I think are impossible. Um, but, you know, maybe in a bit of a, a bit of time. So uh, anyway, thank you for setting the challenges. Thank you for sticking with me. And thank you for all of the advice. Um, I know that I certainly haven't followed the eating advice much, but I'll be able to do that better over the weekend because I'll actually have the time. I have about a 10 minute time period um, to 15 minutes. When I actually get home there, I've got to get the memory card out, get it all the way back to work, render the video before um, my break is over and everything. So it's really hard. When I get back home, I've got so much work to do because I'm writing musical scores for two films at the moment and a lot needs to be done. Um, aside from that, everything is going really, really well. And thank you for supporting me through this. And I am absolutely knackered. I have literally got no energy at all. Anyway, thanks a lot. Take care. Have a lovely evening. And um, I'm going to make another one this evening, as I said. Anyway, take care. Bye.